So we just finished reviewing Pilsner Urquell, which is the original Pilsner. So that brings up the question now that we can tackle here at Beer Brackets. And we've tackled all the big questions, or a lot of them, we're getting to them. What's the difference between a lager and a Pilsner? Is there a big difference, Alessandro? What, what do you think? What should we know about that? So there is actually a, a difference. Like the first big one is obviously the name, the fact that Pilsner, and we mentioned that in the episode, it comes from the fact that it was brewed in a specific town in the Czech Republic, Flint, and that, where, that is where the name came from. Uh, it was originally referred to as a pale lager for the fact that the color was actually paler. Uh, but there's also a couple of other uh, technical differences. One of the main thing is the fact that it is brewed a, with a very specific type of water that was obviously available there uh, in the area uh, where the, it was first brewed in the Czech Republic. So a softer water compared to others um, that were brewed around in the same time. Uh, it's a lager, so it's uh, brewed using the bottom fermentation yeast that is used in all lagers. But most important, this specific one is brewed using uh, the Czech uh, hops variety uh, known as Sads, which is one of the four uh, noble hop varietals that are uh, used uh, throughout history, are usually referred to whenever you hear talking about noble hop, or hop varietals. Noble hops, I love the sound of that. So when we talk about soft water and hard water, can you explain a little further, like the difference between hard water and soft water when it comes to brewing beer? Is it just where the water is sourced from? Is it from a natural spring? Is it distilled? Well, it mostly and historically, it's uh, it's just the water and, and the source where it's taken from. Now, obviously, if you think like beer is, is predominantly made out of water, so obviously uh, the water imparts like a big factor in, in the production of beer. And depending on where it's sourced from, it, the water like contains different uh, minerals in it. So even if you can at first like can't really taste the difference, like you know sampling the waters itself, the different elements within it interact in different ways with the brewing process. Now, obviously, soft water tends to have a little bit less of those uh, elements. So so there are other elements in the brewing process that can shine a little bit more. Uh, so. Uh, all these things are obviously connected, interconnected with uh, where the beer uh, is brewed. And, you know, and that's also the beauty of it because it kind of locates uh, the beer within uh, the place of origin of it. So that, that creates that tradition that is almost uh, impossible to replicate because the water that is sourced there is obviously not going to be the same if it's brewed somewhere else. So that's, I think, like an interesting fact. That's a really interesting fact. That's so cool. 